rise and shine, sleepy Joe. Now's the time, don't you know, to get into a new kind of dream. You've been living alone with no bell telephone, and you don't have a shed that is clean. <laughs> well, I certainly hope. You had as much of a restful Memorial Day as Sleepy Joe did, who once again, yes, again, got caught sleeping during a somber ceremony. It's yet the latest embarrassment that as Democrats increasingly panicked over Biden's dwindling re-election prospects, and the media is openly admitting it. Hey, gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, your patron professor, here to help you stay sane in these insane times. So make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Also, did you see President Trump? He was talking about cryptocurrency over the weekend at the Libertarian Convention. Gang, crypto is here to stay, which raises the question, have you been wanting to invest in crypto but simply don't know how? Well, here's your chance. You now have access to a conservative patriot who's a crypto investing genius who's offering to take you under his wing. I want to introduce you to my good friend and Turley Talk sponsor, Dan Ryder. Dan has helped thousands discover and learn about a little known new crypto investment strategy that's taking the world by storm. Dan and Prime DeFi are leading a movement of kingdom-minded patriots on a mission to leave their corporate jobs and build a legacy for future generations, even if you're a complete beginner. So don't wait. Click on that link below right now to book a call with Dan and his team and let them walk you through the process. It's absolutely amazing. You don't need to gamble on high-risk cryptos to experience exceptional returns. There is a path for every comfort zone. Slots are limited, so don't wait. Click on that link below and book a call today. If you want to get a sense of how Democrats are feeling this morning, take a look at this piece from Politico. Look at this headline, gang. Dems in full-blown freakout over Biden. Now, keep in mind, that's not coming from Breitbart or Newsmax or Fox, for that matter. That is a headline today from Politico, which is basically the default DNC propaganda publication at this point. Dems in full-blown freakout over Biden. And here's how the piece starts. Quote, a pervasive sense of fear has settled in at the highest levels of the Democratic Party over President Joe Biden's re-election prospects, even among office holders and strategists who had previously expressed confidence about the coming battle with Donald Trump. All year, Democrats had been on a joyless and exhausting grind through the 2024 election. But now, nearly five months from the election, anxiety has morphed into palpable trepidation according to more than a dozen party operatives and leaders, and the gap between what Democrats will say on TV or in print and what they'll text their friends has only grown as worries have surged about Biden's prospects. Now, they're writing this in the wake of the latest morning consult Bloomberg swing state poll that just dropped, and once again, it's painting the exact same electoral picture we've been seeing for weeks now. Trump is crushing Biden in every single swing state, or he's either leading, or in the case of Nevada, they're tied. In fact, just to give you a sense of where the state of the race is right now, Trump is beating Biden by double digits in the state of Texas. Now, remember, Trump won Texas by just five in 2020, but now he's beating Biden by double digits in the Lone Star State. So why is that important? Well, it's important for two reasons. First and foremost, remember, the Biden campaign desperately tried to convince voters that they were going to flip Texas. 2024 was the year that supposedly purple Texas was going to turn blue. That's not even remotely happening. I, I don't know what the Biden campaign operatives are smoking, but that ain't happening. That's the first reason it's important. But the second reason is that according to the latest polling, Biden is up over Trump in the state of New York by only nine points. He's up by only nine in a state that he won by 25 points in 2020. As we speak, Trump is more likely to flip New York than Biden is to flip Texas. That'll give you a sense of where the race is right now. This is why the Democrats are freaking out because they're not just looking at the swing state polls or the national polls. They're just looking at the race as a whole. And Biden is very clearly in deep trouble. The Washington Examiner, which remembers 
no fan of Trump. They're actually much more of an establishment Republican publication. But nevertheless, they had a great piece out this morning. Six signs Biden is starting to panic about reelection prospects. And the piece is it's really, really good because it it begins by focusing on Biden's approval ratings. Okay, this is so key. When we see these polls, particularly in swing states, where Trump is literally crushing Biden, in some cases by double digits, it all comes down to Biden's approval ratings. Historically, presidents need to be around the 50% approval mark to win re-election. Obama lowered the threshold a bit he to about 45%. But again, it's within the mark. I mean, it's within earshot of 50. Right now, as we speak, gang, Biden is in the mid 30s. According to the latest Reuters Ipsos poll, Biden's approval rating has fallen to its lowest level in two years, 36%. And this Washington Examiner piece points out that that represents the lowest 13th quarter approval rating of all nine past presidents in their first term in office. It puts Biden at the bottom 12% of all presidential approval rankings since 1945. So make no mistake, Biden is getting increasingly desperate here. And this Washington Examiner piece lists out what they're seeing as six signs of just such a desperation. First and foremost, of course, is Biden's change of heart when it comes to debates with Trump. At first, some months back, right, Biden wasn't even going to consider legitimizing Trump with a debate. Now he's changed his tune, agreeing to debate Trump, but under very, very strict conditions. And that's a clear sign of desperation. We're Biden beating Trump here. He wouldn't give Trump the time of day. So that's the first sign, right? Second sign is Biden asserting executive privilege over the Her tapes, right? The tapes of Biden's interviews with special counsel Robert Her when Her claimed that Biden was too old and senile to remember the day of his own son's death and a whole host of other embarrassing slips. Again, it's a sign that the Biden team recognizes that concerns over his cognitive decline are a huge issue, if not the issue. I've argued it's his, it's his Achilles heel, his age and senility. That's Biden's ultimate Achilles heel. And the reason for that is very simple. Everything else can change. The economy can change. His border policies can change. Biden's foreign policy can change. Any issue can change. It can reverse. It can rectify itself, except his senility. His age and senility are the only things in this campaign that have no possibility of changing. This is his Achilles heel. This is what this is what has this is what has Democrats up at night in a total panic. They know voters are not going to reelect a president they believe is not cognitively fit for the job. Certainly Republicans and independents will not do it. Third, Biden is chasing after black and Latino voters who are abandoning him in droves. And this is very interesting. This Washington Examiner piece is recognizing that Biden is spending millions on ad campaigns directed towards black and Latino media. He held a special speech recently at the NAACP in Detroit. He visited the so-called Detroit Nine, which is a group of black sororities and fraternities. In other words, Biden is noticeably nervous about voting constituencies he emphatically should not be nervous about. These voters should be in the bag for Biden, and they're clearly not. And both the polls and Biden's desperate actions are showing just that. So you got the debate. You got executive privilege hiding the her tapes from anyone hearing them. You got Biden desperately chasing after the black and Latino vote. The fourth sign Biden is getting desperate is now Biden has been reduced to trying to court young voters, the under 30 vote, with weed-friendly policy changes. He's just announced that they're now classifying marijuana as a Schedule Three drug, which is a significant downgrade from its traditional Schedule One status. He's already tried buying, obviously, their votes for by forgiving college debt, which the Supreme Court has ruled he can't do. But hey, you know, we're trying to stop a Trump dictatorship here, right? So, uh, so uh, the fact that he's so-called forgiving student loans, making you and me pay for them. And downgrading marijuana is all an attempt at once again trying to get back a vote he should have shored up by now, but has not. The fifth sign of Biden's desperation is he's doing everything he can to push back against Israel 
and their war efforts against Hamas. And this, of course, is in response to the massive collapse in support among Arab Americans, Muslim Americans for Biden, particularly in key swing states like Michigan. So he's now trying to win them back by turning his back on Israel. And then finally, Biden is actually using federal funds to pay for students to register people to vote. I kid you not, he's been reduced to using our tax dollars as a pro-Biden get-out-the-vote effort, which again signals desperation that his own campaign can't do it. His own campaign is not doing enough. When all is said and done, the state of the race today is rather clear. Trump is on the offense while Biden is on the defense. Biden is clearly reeling. He's not simply trying to hold on to Democrat constituencies that's because they've already left him. He's desperately trying to get them back. And at the very same time, Trump has totally shored up his traditional Republican and MAGA vote. And now he's trying to expand the electoral map into Virginia, Virginia and Minnesota and New York, and New Jersey, New Hampshire, possibly even Maine. It's pretty astonishing stuff. So now we can see why the Democrats, according to the leftists over at Politico, are indeed in a full-blown freakout over Biden. If things don't change, they're increasingly recognizing that November is going to be an absolute Democrat disaster. Here's your opportunity to tell big tech tyrants where they can stick it. Click on that link below and download our brand new Cancel Proof Turley Talks app, and you can sign our special Declaration of Restoration. That's our petition to big tech that declares a new day is dawn. They are no longer in control and we are taking our nation back. We've already got over a thousand signatures of courageous patriots and yours is next. Click on that link below or go to fight.turleytalks.com right now.